This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. Well, go on, my people. Hope everybody you know okay. Hope everybody you know alright. Let me tell everybody, happy Friday, yeah, man. Happy, happy, happy Friday. If you never get paid yesterday, you get paid today. So let me tell you something now. I mean, now, nah, beg nobody, not, you know, listen good. All who are got the bank, watch your teeth in bank, tell her them. You understand? When you now go up on the road and look at money, watch your little teeth in bike boy, them and look at teeth in taxi man, them, yeah, man. Because the bank go like say, you no got work. And we broke money when they make a for Uno and them. So me I beg you know, be careful. And people, the next thing I see, Uno do and practice. When you get paid today, and you go buy this big walk of food, and then you dead for hungry tomorrow. Tap it, cut it out, cut it out. You understand me? Now say you don't know, treat yourself, you know. But no way you do, people. You understand? Me I beg you know, please and thanks. People who now work and have the ability to work, how do you feel when a Friday come and you don't have a paycheck to get? Eh? I don't want them who are work and who did a work and get laid off. I don't want to look at one of them who just decides to watch out. Beg them and go beg for them. Hmm? Be careful. And the taxi man, I'm going to be careful too because it's rough pound up on the road to see me. Some of the people that watch the taxi man and take care of them taxi man that can't be trusted. A taxi operator has been shot. Dead along Ligani Avenue in St. Andrew yesterday. It happened at about 3 p.m. The police person who processed the scene said the people them tell them say yo the shooter was a passenger. You understand? So taxi man, me are going to be careful. And speaking of taxi man, people are going to the taxi man argument. Me are tell us our next taxi man do a thing, you see. Clarendon tax operator has been arrested after allegedly abducting a 13-year-old girl and attempted to sexually assault her in the area known as Darkness in Kellex District in the parish on Friday, October 16. According to the police, the 40... Hold on, the people here, me are tell you 40, could I be her father? Probably could I be her, her grandfather too? You understand? A 40 year old man was charged with assault with intent to rape and abduction of the person under the age of 16. The police said at about 11.50 a.m. The complainant boarded a car driven by Thompson. The accused allegedly pulled off the main road and took the teen to an area where he attempted to assault her. She however managed to escape. People, me tell you something. It's rough. The police then later arrested the accused. He was pointed out to them. A date is being arranged for him to appear in court. The police said, hold on, you know. Me tell you, ask you something. So this is a 13 year old, she's not an uncle and a father and a brother and a big cousin where a male and them thing. There. Yeah man, this should have reached police station. May I be honest with you? Know? This stuff reached police station. I tell this people, I say, them youth they who try for sexual assault, people pick me. Yeah man, both male and female. I got no sympathy for them, none whatsoever. May I be honest with you? Know? You understand? So no, we normally tell them you know, dirt them and tag them high them, yeah man. Me and Tom and Tug and them sitting there. Me no business. Me not no sympathy for them. You understand? Look for a little child like that where you could have been like a grandfather. You pull off a road. Brother, go and go buy some no man. It's cheap and them look a thing there. You know, you know for a little shop themselves. That you come a road for do. And parents, be careful how well you have these little kids running up and down on the road. You understand? Because at 13, you understand say mother and father forgot to work if there's a mother and a father, but... 13 year old, no really fit up on the road by herself still, you see me? I run a taxi and them something. Regardless of the situation, me I make you know. I know some people have come come say, yo, about 13 year old, big and them. No, they are still kids. You understand? They are still kids. So next time, parents, do what they can do and try the best of make them go up on the road themselves. An 18 year old East Kingston resident has been charged with murder. The police said that Jamali Palmer, otherwise called Ziggy, of Mountain View Avenue, Kingston 2 has also been charged with conspiracy to murder and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. The charge relating to the murder of 26-year-old Siobhan all of Mountain View Avenue, Kingston 2 on October 3rd. People, an update me going to come. Remember, I'm telling about that story already. It is reported that at about 8.30pm, after curfew hours, Palmer 
went to all's house and opened gun fire at him after the man did not meet his demand. The police were summoned and all was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. During the operation on Tuesday, October 13, Palmer was arrested. A week later, he was charged. You understand me? I tell the people. So I'm going to charge him and show him in the prison because I'm going to go, go for him. I'm just going to party like one name yesterday where they see a party. That's all I'm going to do, you know. Three square meals a day and just party half of the money and laugh half of know. You understand? Have them get a chance to come out, then come out, come do the same thing. But me, don't tell the sign up. We have a plan for this situation. Yeah, yeah man. We organize a crime strategy for situation like this. But we don't want to work with it. We don't want to report me and them something. We don't want to report me and them something. Man. Them things are alone, no good for you. But me tell you, say, when this thing is knocked on the phone, door, these are the times when I go ball. But guess what? My view, I go there for reading the same news phone and say, watch out, man. So, me that tell them. Me that tell them, say, okay, we are them two from early, early, early. You know? But I make them boy, he tax me as money. But we don't want to listen. Kingston Vendor was arrested and charged with several offences for an incident in his community on Tuesday, October 2nd. According to the police, 28 year old Demroy Turner was charged with robbery, with aggravation, assault, occasional body arm, and malicious destruction of property. The police said the complainant was driving home from work in a bid to escape a head on collision with an ongoing motor vehicle crashed into a parked motor vehicle along the roadway. The companion came to a stop and before he could exit the vehicle, well, I don't know people, because this is a show. You have exited the vehicle, you just get a crash. You yeah, think somebody has come, come, assist you. No, 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 no. That is not what took place. Exit the vehicle, he was attacked by Turner who punched him repeatedly in the face and the chest before robbing him of his wallet. The incident was reported to the police and Turner was arrested after it was pointed out. But seriously now, people. You meet in an accident and you think, say, watch now, help somebody I come help you. And I help the man come help you. I say, I help the man come ramp him and beat up the man and go and left him. Chad, no, stop me. I say, these days, people. People are so wicked and cruel and evil. You understand? Speaking of that, people, everybody know that brother you can be compound sound face. You understand me? I show you in picture. 57 year old Osbert Camp, one of the most prominent business figures in the second city, not a long mobile, was gone down shortly after six on Tuesday outside his shop. Campbell officially called Mr. Lee standing outside his forensic road establishment when two armed men with handgun walk up to him and open fire hitting him multiple times. The men reported the run from the location and escaped on a motorcycle. When the police arrived on location, Campbell was seen suffering from several gunshot wounds and was rushed to the Cornell Region Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Yesterday, vendors were still reeling from the shocking morning Campbell who they described as a good man. Mr. Lee are one of the best men in a Mobile. Uh, him send most of our children them go school and him always give people him don't deserve to die like this precious a vendor told us does the vendor gather outside campbell's green grocery shop yesterday calling for a greater police presence within the market circle police so they have to protect and serve and the people them are called for the presence because sometimes when you keep back on the city you don't know say the little boy them who now work and come come target the people them for extortion money and rob them you understand? So the need for the look better. Yeah, police. Me know say we not for the life too, and not for the three pints. So no one give it. But people, you see that Mr. Campbell see something. You understand? Or Mr. Campbell now nah, give them the extortion money. Must say enough is enough. But that man a right for take him life like that. So let me say condolence to the family, to the Campbell family, and the extent the man to go be a vending association. You know, all them people. Eh? Who vend with him and sell with him. I remember him become pan sound face as me I tell you on DJ I want to go on the bag of thing one long time ago. You understand? So I say condolences reach out to them. And who know them can reach out and pray for them and them something. But I beg the people them. Stop paying the extortion money and report them on them to the police and the police them come for them. You understand? Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, check us out.